In this video, I'm gonna show you yet another way to manage the mastering process right here in GarageBand on your iPad or iPhone. So, let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome back to Studio Live. Today, if it's your first time here, this is the channel where I try to help you create, record and release your best music and I do that through tips and tricks and tutorials just like this one. Now, this actually came from a comment from a viewer and I've lost your comment. So please comment down below and say it was me because I don't mean to disrespect you by not saying your name. This is another method for mastering a track in GarageBand, and it's using the merge function, which is one of my favorite functions here in GarageBand. Let's jump in now and take a look. Now, mastering is the process of taking your final mix, like I have here in GarageBand, exporting it, and then doing some final tweaks, usually things like limiting a little bit of EQ, maybe some effects to make it radio ready so you can release it to the world. However, what was raised to me was that there's a very simple way to do this where you don't even have to export and import back into GarageBand. You can use the merge technique. So let's show you how to do that now. All we need to do is tap on any one of our tracks. Now this has about 20, 25 tracks worth of audio here in GarageBand. But if we tap on one of these and we tap on the merge button here, we can actually go ahead and select all of our tracks. Now there's no select all, so you're going to have to watch me select every individual track here. Let's just continue down here. We're gonna leave out that one because it's muted anyway. We don't need that one in our final mix. We'll come all the way down to the bottom here and we're nearly there. I thought there was, I thought there was less. There we go, we're almost to the bottom and these are all of us, including the FX track because we've made a little bit of a volume tweak on the FX track to reduce the overall volume. And again, check out the description for a link about how to do that. So now we're gonna hit the merge button. Now what this is going to do, it's gonna duplicate our song and it's gonna merge all of these tracks down into one stereo track. It's a bit of voodoo stuff here, it works really well because it's just going to do our mix down for us. And then we'll have this one merge track that we can start adding any mastering effects that we want to onto. So let's wait for this to finish merging. We'll jump back in and show you how. And here we go, our master track is done. If we just dive in a little way down here and hit play. Sometimes I sit around and wonder how it is I got here and if I'm going under all the complications of my life. So what this has done is it's baked in all of the different tracks, all the effects, all the EQ settings, everything we've put, and we've mixed it down into one stereo file right here in our project. Now the beauty part of this is if we tap here and we go back out here, it's actually made a copy. This is our original track and this is the new track. So it's kept all of those settings. So you don't have to worry that you're gonna lose all your individual tracks. Every time you merge, it creates a copy like this and leaves your original intact. So let's go back into our original. What we can do now is we can use all the same things. Let's just get rid of this. This is this track that we never actually used. We can use all the same effects. So we come in here to our mixer. It'll be in the top right if you're on an iPad. We come into our mixer. We can use master effects, echo and reverb. We can use plugins and EQ. We can click or tap on the edit button there. We can add in all of our different audio unit extensions. We can use effects. We can use limiting. We can use EQ. We can add whatever we want. So we can master right here in GarageBand on our track. So so it's an alternative way. I've showed you other ways. And again, there's more videos down below. I've showed you how you can export your track and import it back in to your track. You can export it. You can bring it into a separate file. There's a heap of videos showing you all about that. But this way, if we wanted to master this now, let's just say we wanted to come in here, audio unit extensions, go down to our limiter, which is the plugin you'd probably want to use. Here it is, the peak limiter. We can now actually do our limiting right here in GarageBand. So let's just put our gain up like maybe three or four db and now if we play it back back to the days when i was a little kid we can always dial worry it up. about the things i never did always think about the next big problem even when it's someone else that's on the hook me in light and stink and then when we go ahead and export that because GarageBand uses auto normalization and again another video down in the description i'll link one up there as well that shows you what that means 
it just means that we can actually do everything right here in this track. So another hack, another good way, and thank you again to the user, and please, again, let me know who you were down in the comments. If you have any other tips or any other ideas for future videos, please leave those down in the comments below. There's two more videos linked down below all about mixing and mastering here in GarageBand. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping up there, and I'll see you next time.